Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. What I want to talk about in this video is something which is relevant to business in general, not just the close protection business. And as I say in a lot of my videos and articles, you have to remember the close protection business is a business. It's about making money. Um, so you need business skills, not just martial arts skills, firearm skills, etc., which is generally the bottom end of the skill ladder. You need to understand business. Now, overthinking can be a major problem for a lot of people. Yes, we need to plan and prepare everything, but it comes to the point where you have to take action. And I've come across how many people over the years, and they have, and I've said to them, they have good ideas, and one person comes to mind especially, very talented gentleman, a lot of very good ideas, uh, very good at what he does, firearms, he's in the firearms business, very, very good, very, very professional, very, very up to speed on things. But he's stuck in, uh, how can I put it? He won't get off his ass to do his own thing or he's not particularly motivated to get shit done, which is limiting him big time. Um, I've said to him a few times about a few things. Oh yeah, but I'm working on it, I'm trying to do this, I'm working on it, I'm trying to do that. I think the thing is he's overthinking things and he's too afraid to take the plunge because he's in a job, which isn't that much of a well-paying job but he has a regular job and he doesn't want to lose his job to uh, make big money he's afraid that he can't do two things he's too busy he's got this but he's he's working on something etc he's overthinking things sometime well, in business there comes to the point where we need planning and preparation but you also have to come to the point where you have to take action I know another gentleman I was talking to ex-military guy um, setting up his own business, risk management, consultancy, etc. Good guy. Very, very nice guy. Capable guy, etc. And I had a few conversations with him. And every conversation, he was still trying to choose his stationery. Yeah, I've been going to this shop. I need to, I can't really start approaching people until I get the right paper. And he's looking for quality paper, linen paper, which I understand. Right business cards, etc., etc. And... <clears throat> last heard of I think he's been looking for the right paper for a stationery for the past how many years you know what back in the day going back in the mid 90s I had well you had to get letterheads ordered this is before everybody had computers and printers and everything went virtual I had good letterheads printed on good paper with good business cards etc and that got me good business okay these days who reads letters back in the day if you sent out a letter to somebody they generally opened it when i was living in us i never checked my mail because it was full of garbage so these days sending out letters to people to introduce yourself or talk about your business is a waste of time everything's virtual having good business cards i understand um, apart from that, you're wasting your time because everything is virtual. So this guy, I say overthinking beyond about his paper and his letterheads and his presentation. Well, the how many years he's been doing that, he could have been emailing or reaching out to how many different people to, and actually getting contracts in business. Overthinking is a major issue. And you need to understand, and this is... A, I put it down these days to people being insecure. Nothing's going to be perfect in business, especially in the close protection business. In the close protection business, the investigations business, a lot of times you're going to be dealing with situations you have no control over. We plan, we prepare, etc. But we cannot plan for the mishaps that happen. Mishaps with clients, clients misbehaving, clients doing stupid things. Um, traffic jams, flights being delayed, flights being cancelled, etc. There's that much that can go wrong, so you have to learn how to adapt to those situations. If you're overthinking, you're just not going to get anything done. And if you're overthinking about going into business or doing stuff, or, I mean, shall I do this, or shan't I do this, or shall I do this, or shan't I do it? By the time you're saying no, 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 and thinking about things, somebody will say yes. I've got somebody, whether I watch this or not, that was doing my online courses. And 
basic thread, uh, tra basic travel security course. And I've not heard from him in a while. He's asking me too many questions. And I can give him a debrief, a very, very quick debrief on things by just saying to him, stop overthinking. Um, as far as the assessment's done, it's long, long overdue. If he wants to get back to me and get back to me, no worries. But again, he's, come, he's overthinking the details. A lot of times, yes, you want a general plan on how to deal with things, a general budget on how to deal with things. Um, there's no point going into too much detail because again, you cannot control the details. You need to understand what's relevant and what's not relevant. And a lot of people overthink and get tied up in things which are not relevant. It comes to a point where if you seriously want to do things, you have to commit. And this is where the example, the gentleman I know in the gun business, very talented, etc., etc., overthinks things, wants everything's precise, wants everything's done properly. He'll take forever to do something. Where this is where, in some extent, especially in the close protection business, the people that have a little bit more confidence, <clears throat> generally the stupider people in general, and we always complain about people in the close protection business that shouldn't be in it. I've seen people end up with some very, pick up some very, very good contracts. Not because they were good, not because they were qualified. Definitely not because they were good, but because they weren't overthinking things and they had the balls and the confidence to approach people and say, give us the job, literally. And they were given the job. Um, so this is where, don't go overthinking things. Understand nothing will be perfect. Understand you're going to make mistakes. Understand there's going to be problems and go for it. And part of, I'd say, if somebody's skilled in the, I look at to see if somebody's skilled in the close protection business, investigations business, is how they deal with problems. Because this is a problems business. If you're telling me you're in the close protection business, investigations business, and you've not had problems, administration problems, business problems with clients, problems with staff, etc., you're lying. You're full of shit. Because this business is a problem business, and it's how you adapt and deal with those problems that sets the amateurs apart from the professionals. So, a little bit of wisdom there on don't overthink things, go for it. If, you're, if you've got the, if you think you can do the job, do it. Don't go thinking, I can't, I can't, I can't. Go for it. If you make mistakes, learn from those mistakes, progress, that's it. So, overthinking can be a major issue and a major block as far as business for a lot of people. And it's not worth overthinking things. It comes to the point, you need to have the confidence in your abilities to be able to deal with the situations if they go wrong. Once you get that confidence, there's no need to overthink things because you know you can because you know you can do deal with the problems, right? Okay, follow me along on social media. We've got a load more videos up on LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, etc. We've been laying off the courses. We'll be starting the courses again in 2024 somewhere. We're working on a few things, but we're extremely busy. In the meantime, I have an array of books up on Amazon to talk about various aspects of the close protection business, life in general, crime fiction, etc. So follow me along on social media. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Um, give me a few days to get back to you because, as I said, we've been busy for a while now. But in the meantime, be good, stay safe, stay out of trouble. And to me, overthinking overthinking is a bigger problem if not a bigger problem than not taking than not taking action than not taking action and getting it wrong if you take action and you get it wrong no worries you learn from your mistakes if you don't take the action and you just think about it and you never do anything that to me is a waste you're better off to, you're better off making mistakes than you are doing nothing put it that way so a little bit of advice. In the meantime, as always, be good, stay safe, and try to stay out of trouble.